The tax burden in Latin American countries has been on the rise since 2002. Now, in Argentina, that marks the end of the country's Great Depression, when a focus on improving tax collection helped the government spend its way back to growth. Nearly 15 years later, is it time for a review? Juan Elias Perez Bay from GNP Group joins me down the line. Juan, talk me through Argentina's growth story over the last decade and how the tax landscape has changed. Well, Paul, Argentina's GDP has grown about 10 times over the last 12 years, while the national public spending has grown 20 times in the same period. Naturally, this had a strong impact in fiscal pressure, since tax collection precisely grew 20 times in the same period in order to finance the growth of this public spending. Now, all Latin American countries have expanded their tax collection in recent years. What makes it particularly difficult in Argentina? Well, today's fiscal pressure of Argentina exceeds 40% of GDP measured by government indicators. About 10 years ago, fiscal pressure was approximately 20 to 25% of GDP. This situation placed Argentina at a clear disadvantage situation in terms of competitiveness regarding its neighboring countries. If we consider Latin America, Argentina is today the country with the highest fiscal pressure, even higher than Brazil with its complex fiscal system and considering it has been historically the one with the largest fiscal pressure of the region. This is the reason why tax area in Argentina has taken significant importance over the last, over the last years, right? Okay, so talk me through the complexity. Which taxes have increased and what makes them difficult for businesses to reconcile? The system in Argentina is based on four taxes. According to its participation in the complete tax collection, we can call VAT, income tax, tax on bank on debits and credits, and export duties. VAT tax increased due to GDP's increase and due to technical improvements on tax gross systems and on inspection processes, which contributed to reduce informal economy in Argentina. Income tax increased because of annual inflation of about 3% in a country without any inflation accounting adjustment. So the result is the taxation of fictitious profits as there is no adjustment for inflation in the accounting statements. The last two taxes, tax on bank, uh, debit and credits, and export duties are new taxes, or relatively new taxes created in 2002, and have no joint participation with provinces. Its growth is related to the local GDP increase and the increase of agro-industrial exports during the last 10 years in our country. Are there currently discussions to review some of these taxes? What might happen and what's the timeline? We have no certainty about the timeline, but they surely have to be discussed and modified, of, of course, but we clearly think that that there is a, a discussion has to take place regarding taxes. We also think that when possible investment arrive in Argentina, fiscal half factor has to be considered as the one to keep an eye on, right? Argentina right now is the country with the biggest fiscal pressure of the region. As the tax system is complex with a good fiscal strategy, within legality of course, it is possible to reduce the impact in large part. So tell me about what can be achieved in reducing the impact of that taxation for businesses. Our philosophy consists of um, having a focus on fiscal strategy, taking into account that economic conditions in Argentina has taken the tax uh, matter uh, to be uh, really important. We provide to our clients a team of highly trained uh, businessmen dedicated to fiscal consult uh, consultancy, and we find that our fiscal legislation has enough complexity to allow us make fiscal management models that generate fiscal savings or tax delays which considering an annual inflation of about 3% might cost or certainly will cost important final, uh, financial fiscal savings to companies and in this way get important economic benefits. Thanks for watching. For more videos from The Voice of the Market, please subscribe.